the movements of the earth, rotation and revolution. We've studied a lot about our beautiful planet, the earth. We are going to discover a bit more in today's lesson. We already know that the earth actually undergoes two movements. The first, the earth spins west to east on its axis. To complete one complete spin, the earth takes exactly 24 hours and during which we have day and night. This movement is called rotation. Along with rotation, the earth also revolves around the sun along a fixed path called orbit. The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one orbit around the sun. This movement by the earth around the sun is called revolution. Let's learn a bit more about the two movements of the earth. Click on the movement you want to learn first. The earth rotates on its axis. The earth's axis is an imaginary line that passes through the center of the earth from the north to the south pole. The axis is tilted or inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degree at the pole, which is about 66 and a half degree to the plane of the earth's orbit. As the earth rotates, it causes day and night. The side that is facing the sun experiences day, while the side that is facing away from the sun has night. Rotation also causes tides along with the rise and fall of the level of seawater. Rotation also affects ocean currents and winds. The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution. What happens to that one fourth day? All the one fourth days are added up for four years to the month of February. That year is called a leap year. So, in a leap year, February has 29 days. Revolution causes seasons. Since the earth is inclined at an angle, the direct rays of the sun fall between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Other places receive indirect sun rays. When the North Pole is tilted to the sun, places in the Northern Hemisphere experience summer season. This is known as the summer solstice. June 21, the day is longest and the night is shortest. The Southern Hemisphere experiences summer season in December. This is known as winter solstice. And on December 22, the night is the longest and the day is the shortest. On March 21 and September 23, the sun's rays fall directly on the equator. This is called Equinox. At equinox, the day and night are equal. The earth thus experiences four seasons. Summer, winter, spring and autumn. Summary We've discovered the different movements of the earth called rotation and revolution and how these movements help make seasons and even day and night. That's all for now. See you soon.